Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this reading I'm going to be channeling some messages from your past loved ones. I've done a few of these sort of readings before on my channel with success. It seems some names and messages came through for some of you. Um, I'm also offering them as a private reading at the moment. So they're available on my shop. The link is in the description box below. It is a limited service though, so if it says sold out please check back the next month because I can only offer a few of these as a lot of time and energy goes into these readings for this channeling. Um, so I've got some names and messages here. Hopefully some of these will resonate for some of you, but obviously if nothing comes through, don't worry, you may get something in another reading. Also later on we'll pull some cards from your loved ones as well. So that will be more general. So something may come through in that part for you. So let's take a look. Um, the way that I started doing this channeling actually was I kept smelling smoke, um, cigarette smoke, that is. And I was channeling because I don't smoke, no one around me was smoking. There was no one here with me actually. Um, I was getting Jim who's a grandfather who smoked. So you may suddenly smell cigarette smoke as well, like I did. And that can be a sign that Jim is around you. Um, I was getting that he had a budgerigar in the UK. He loved gardening. I was getting like earth, an earthy feeling on the hands. So he loved getting his hands dirty. And he said that robins are a sign yeah, I mean, if you see a robin, it's quite special. It can be a sign an ancestor's come back to visit you. Then Vanessa came through. Um, someone's mother. I'm getting emotions here right away, so I feel this is going to really touch someone. Yeah, really, really feeling like a loss here for this person. Um who's connected to Vanessa. Now, I was hearing, I'm often with you, and then I was smelling flowers and perfume, beautiful scents. So again, I feel that you may feel your mother with you suddenly if you get a smell of flowers or her perfume. I also heard sparkling light, which could be a sign. Now, if you see sparkling lights or a flash of light, that can be a sign that suddenly spirit has entered the room. That's something that I've experienced myself. Next, I've got Joan, who's someone's grandmother, and I was hearing Tessa, so maybe that's your name. Um, you're the granddaughter. I kept hearing slow down, so that's her message to you. Cats, so she had a lot of cats, I feel. I was seeing someone in an apron, baking at home. So I feel that's a memory that you have of Joan. Maybe when you do baking, you think of your grandmother. That's what I got there. Also, Pat and Louis came through quite strongly. I was hearing that their grandparents from the US, I was seeing a forest around them and a lodge. So maybe they lived in the countryside. And they were saying that they leave you signs in nature. So if you're the grandchild. Um, I'm feeling it's things like birds. I'm getting shivers with this one. Okay. Because I'm suddenly, this didn't come through in the channeling, but I'm suddenly seeing some visions. I'm seeing birds. I'm seeing like the sun shining through the trees. So maybe if you take a walk through nature, you might really feel your grandparents around you. So that's coming through right now. Next was Joy. Um, and I was hearing my little boy's out there, the initial R, and he doesn't know me. I got quite an emotional, lost energy for this soul. I'm feeling it could be a trapped soul, actually. Um, and I'm feeling in their last moments they were lost. So I'm getting maybe dementia there. 
um, they didn't really know sort of what was going on. That's what I was feeling. Because not much else came through, to be honest, for joy. Okay, then um, Bill came through, someone's father. He said, tell him I'm there with him. So I'm assuming that's his son, a message for his son. Also, I heard numbers are a sign, 1111. So you might see a lot of number synchronicities. It might start with 1111, then you might just suddenly see loads, like 333, 222, for example. You might see numbers linked to Bill as well, like, you know, his birthday, something like that. Okay, then I've got another father, Tremaine, came through, Shawnee. Um, not a common name to me, I must admit. Not a lot came through either from Tremaine. Um, I just said, I'm doing okay. And then I could see, I started going like this, like I was smoke, um, doing a roll-up, rather. So I feel he smoked roll-ups. Quite a quiet soul. I was getting there. Then, next one was Teresa. I was trying to go Ireland, the countryside. I could see the hills, greenery around Teresa. She came from a big family. Um, she had a collie dog and Wellington boots. Wasn't getting much else there, but obviously you'll know who that is if it's your past life one. Then Mac came through. Um, I had Grandpa specifically from the US. Had a house with a veranda. And I'm not sure what they're called. Those, you know, those swinging chairs. I've seen one of those on the veranda. So Mac enjoyed sitting on that seat. I'm, I'm saying something now about, like, if this is your Grandpa... You might have seen that seat swinging in the past and he's saying that was a sign for you. He was actually there around you. I was seeing the sunset, so he liked looking at the sunset. Maybe you do as well. And I heard that butterflies are a sign. Um, butterflies are often a sign of an ancestor coming back to visit you. It's quite an honour because obviously they have a very short lifespan. Okay, next was Paul. Um, now this was quite an interesting one because I kept hearing, usually when I get the name I get it once or twice, but I kept hearing someone like almost shouting, Paul, Paul, like this. And I realised at the end of this channeling that this could be someone famous because I've got a musician who wrote songs then I started tapping with my fingers like this and I was hearing you sometimes find yourself humming and tapping and you're channeling tunes and melodies from Paul. Then I heard my death was a mystery, my son is piecing it together. So he's got a son out there who has a feeling something happened to his father Paul. He's trying to sort of work that out. And the last one was Mary. Um, I was hearing that she had a heart problem. She wore glasses, was the secretary. Her daughter's initial is S. Um, she said she feels your love. She also wants to say she sends you love. She was saying it's all right here because I feel if you're the daughter um, you're wondering if Mary's okay. I'm getting shivers suddenly as I say this. She's fine. Um, in the spiritual realm, it's very different. There's just love and peace, healing. It's not like here, there's no ego. Um, then I heard look out for robins. So, yeah, robins are often a sign that an ancestor has come to visit you, especially a parent. It doesn't have to just be that. Uh, it's interesting that came through before for someone else here as well. Okay, so that's all of the souls that I channeled for this reading. 
Um, as I said, don't worry if no one came through for you. For some of you, you may not have met, obviously, your ancestor here, but I feel a lot of you have and you know of these souls. Okay, everyone, so now this is more general messages now from your past loved ones. We're going to do a little pick a card with these oracle cards. Um, so I'd like you to just think of your loved ones, or maybe a specific loved one, who you'd like a message from. Actually being guided to take four. Okay, that one. So we're going to keep them face down for this one. This is a good test of your intuition. Obviously they all look the same. And obviously you can look at all of them. But I would say focus on the card that you're drawn to the most and make that your first message. And obviously you might get messages from all of the cards as well. So let's see card one. We've got find your voice. So your loved one wants you to express yourself, open up, sing out. Maybe you enjoy singing um, or playing an instrument. See, he's wearing blue, the colour of the throat chakra. Uh, could be about speaking out with others around you as well. Maybe this has been a lesson for you. But try to find ways to express yourself. I'm feeling that this loved one was musical as well and may send you signs through music. That's just coming through now. They may have come from a distant place, maybe a different country than the one you were born in. I'm getting a tribe energy here coming through as well. I'm hearing Tibet, um, but yeah, definitely countryside coming through for this past loved one. So card two is upskill. It says work, career, crossroads. So maybe some of you who chose this card are thinking about studying something new, changing career. Maybe you're at a crossroads in your career, maybe you're studying at the moment, but I'm really feeling some of you might be thinking about this and you're being guided to go for it. Um, so it could be going back to college for some of you. Um, it's interesting with the building and outdoors, it might be that you, you work indoors and you want to do some outdoors work or vice versa. The tree is also about personal growth so I feel you've grown a lot, maybe you've outgrown the work you've been doing. You want to try something new. So your guidance here is to go for it, to upskill. It's interesting, both those cards are in nature. So again, I'm getting this message that you might receive signs in nature, which we had in the channeling before, butterflies and birds, for example. It could be your ancestor or loved one who's there with you in that moment. So card three is answer the call. So it says here, explore, travel, live. You're being guided to go for it again if you're thinking about traveling, moving, exploring the world, exploring your gifts. With answer the call could be about your divine calling, your purpose, which is sort of linking to the up skill before. So maybe you have a skill that you're not using. You're being guided to develop that skill. Could even be a psychic gift for some of you um, or learning something new and answering that call to then do it, to pursue your purpose. Um, again, we've got the outdoors 
in all these cards, it's very interesting. So maybe getting out into nature as well. Exploring yourself, I'm getting as well with this card. Um, within, you know, doing the inner work. And when you do that, when you grow with the tree that came out there, you often find you want to do something new. You want to explore what else is out there for you. So I'm really getting that actually with all these cards. And it could be linked to expressing yourself. So it's interesting these cards are kind of linking actually. With there being two in the boat, it could be about a collaboration here. Um, maybe you're being called to return to someone, to visit someone, to put things right, forgiveness. It's also coming out here. So the last card, wow, teach and share. So some of you might be, if you pick this card, might be thinking about going into education, teaching children maybe, or teaching spirituality, because we've got the Buddha here, meditation. Um, so it's interesting we had upskill and then teach and share. So I'm, I'm just feeling, again, the link to maybe expanding your gifts, answering the call if you're being guided to do this, area of study and then teach it as well as a result so instructing in some way so I'm really getting light workers coming out here you're really being guided um, you know that even with express yourself to speak out find your voice open up with others share your gift so yeah, we're getting speaking, teaching, traveling, maybe music for some of you, working with children. Yeah, because we've got children here as well, actually. It's quite interesting if we look at the imagery. So maybe learning and then teaching, as I said. Um, so I really hope something's come through there. It does seem that was quite specific and they all linked, actually. <laughs> but um, whichever one you were drawn to, I'd say was for you. Again, we've got Asia coming out here. So maybe you're from Asia or your ancestors are from Asia. I'm also getting Norway, Scandinavia, Greece, Canada, Tibet, as I said before, China, Thailand. So either your ancestors are from those places or maybe you're thinking about traveling to some of those places. Some of you might even be thinking of traveling to where your ancestors are from. You've never been there. Now I'm suddenly hearing Jodie coming through channeled. My name Jodie. Um, if that's your name, I'm feeling like you want to do something new. You're very creative. You might be musical. You're thinking about doing something and you're not sure. You're being guided to do it, to answer the call. So that's just suddenly come through. So you probably noticed I've got my charms. Um, let's pick some charms as well that may give you a sign. Okay, so it's interesting right away, we've got a bird and an angel. So you might receive divine signs such as feathers. You might see birds. It's interesting that robins came through before in the channeling, which is a very common one um, to receive as a sign of an ancestor coming back to visit you, in particular a parent. It's beautiful. Also, I'm seeing that like a dove, fine peace, forgive is coming through here again for some of you. 
Um, yeah, that's coming through here as well with the mittens, like reconciliation here that some of you are being guided to. Um, or this could be on the way for some of you as well. Reunion. Which I'm really feeling again is linking to that answer the call. Some, some of you are being guided to reach out to someone here who means a lot to you. You're receiving signs to find peace within. Take that first step with the shoe. This can also show lost love. Um, so it could be, you know, a romantic love connection. Someone's being very drawn to you at the moment or you're being drawn to them. You might keep receiving signs about that person. Um, you might keep seeing doves or two birds, which can be a sign of union as well. Now we've got dragonfly, which is a symbol of um, a symbol of change and transformation. Flying free. Travel, which kept coming out. And it's interesting. Speaking of travel, we got an aeroplane as well. So that's strongly coming out. Some of you have been guided to go for it. Maybe just to go away on holiday, or as I said, visiting places from you know your ancestors past moving um exploring it's really coming out here you've got a jigsaw piece so this could be about finding that missing piece of the puzzle through a sign potentially it could be one of these signs maybe that missing piece of you something you're being guided to do to answer the call. I keep being really drawn to this card with these charms actually. They really seem to link. Could also be something about a past loved one. You're trying to piece things together about them. You don't know a lot about them. So again, maybe that's why you think you're traveling to where they were from to try and find out more information. And we've got a sofa now. It could be a sign of rest and recovery for some of you but I'm also seeing it as a love seat with these two I'm just seeing here some of you are being guided to your destined person and they're being guided to you your ancestors and loved ones are helping you actually behind the scenes it's beautiful okay everyone you might hear my cat purring she's just jumped up on my lap um, so I just pause the camera a moment there. She's yeah, she's sort of knocking the tripod here. Um, I was just going to say that with some of you, this learning and teaching could be something creative that you do. Could be sewing, craft work. So with the mittens and shoe, you know, it could be making. This is their clothing, shoes, toys, um, something like that is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm just wondering if my cat might pick a charm. Let's have a look. You probably see her there. Right, are you going to pick a charm, Millie? She's gone camera shy. <laughs> she did it in a previous reading. Um, you might have seen. She picked one. Want to pick one, Millie? No, she doesn't want to play. She's um, snuggled right up next to me now. <laughs> she likes doing this. She didn't used to do this in reading. She used to just meow a lot. Um, she could always have jumped up on my lap, but she didn't. But um, Okay, she's gone now. She's jumped down. 
So maybe some of you love cats um, or animals. It's quite healing, isn't it? Therapeutic. Now I'm being guided to pull one last card actually for you all. So just a general message for you all from Spirit. Okay, we've got our cards. I think we've got more than one. Yeah, we've got two. Wow, I'm getting shivers. We've got family connections. So your family, your ancestors are really coming through right now. Um, I'm really getting mother for some of you, grandfather as well in particular. Now for some of you, you've never met these ancestors coming through, I feel. Um, we're getting like a tribe energy coming through here. I'm really hearing Cambodia, actually, just channeling that. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just feeling here that some of you have a guide. It's an ancestor you've never met. And they're from this different tribe, different place in the world. So again, that could be why some of you might feel an urge to travel and go to that place. You've never been there, but you know your family were from that place. So that's coming through. We've also got be an open channel. So yeah, some of you might be gifted um, as psychics, be learning about mediumship. It's interesting, it says ancestors, spirits. Yeah, you know, you can channel messages yourself. Um, if you open yourself up to it, be an open channel, as it says. When you've grown, there's a tree there, I'm just hearing, when you've grown a lot as a person, that's what opens you up to being a channel even more. Because you've kind of done all of your inner work and then you're like let's say quite clear, within, healed, and you'll find that things just come to you um, more easily. Maybe some, yeah, I'm really feeling actually though, with it being there, some of you are thinking about learning mediumship. Um, but if you have the gift, we all have the gift actually, we're all psychic, just that we lose that gift very early on as children. But if you have the gift and are open, you'll notice you'll start to, if you practice more um, as well, you'll start to get messages come to you even more so. It's not really about going to school, so to speak. I mean, I've never taken a class in my life, but... Um, you know, I'd say it's more about the inner work, actually, first of all. Okay, everyone, I'm going to leave that there. So I'm really hoping some messages have come through for you today from your past loved ones. It's an honour for me to do these readings for you all. Um, I'll try to do some more when I can. As I said, if any of you would like to reach out for a private reading, they're open. And um, again, it's an honour to do those readings for you. The ones I've done so far have really been an honour. Thank you so much for watching. Sending peace, love and light to you all.